those uh, kids here in uh, Al Hussein's uh, Center for Orphans, most of them from West Bank, and a few of them, like they came from Gaza. We have several hundred orphans in Tanzania that we're supporting at any given time. A lot of these kids, they, they came from the police station, welfare kind of institutes. They, they didn't know how old they were. So when they go to these uh, schools, you know, it's like they feel different, you know, but with the Islamic help, you know, it's like helping them and providing them. And this little lady here is called Mboni. She's an example of some of the gorgeous children that you can see in the background um, here that kind donors support with Islamic help. When you see some of the orphans, it brings, first of all, for me, it brings a smile to my face to think that, you know, these are some of the children that we're making a difference to. Um, and they're just everyday, natural, normal kids. And you almost tend to forget why they're there and you just think that they're normal children. But when you sit back and you reflect that these children are orphans and they've lost their parents, it really brings it to yourself. I just want to tell you a little bit about um, Breno here. She's one and a half years old. She was uh, brought to this orphanage in Tanzania when she was a few months old. Her mother died during childbirth. One ingredient which is um, the mainstay in each one of these orphanages is just the contact that the coordinators have with the children. So the Islamic Help staff that have been assigned to look after these children have so much love and so much connection with these children. So when you come here, you can see why these children are so happy. Even though they don't know who their parents are, they've lived very difficult lives, but they've got one another now. It's like one big family here. It's a very, very special kind of project. The children are well looked after, well clothed, well fed, well nourished. So it really is um, heartwarming to know that the work that we've been doing here for the last two or three years um, is being looked after in the right way. And remember, you can be part of that as well. You can come forward, you can donate today. So I think it's very important that people realise that first of all, the orphanages that Islamic Help is sponsoring in, in countries similar to Jordan are being well looked after, so your money is being spent in the right way. For me, that was kind of, I don't know why I'm here, you know, to, to, to kind of connect with the, the orphan children, to leave them with, with memories. Um, any of you, she could be your daughter, your sister. Um, what future does she have? What life is she going to lead? And what can we do to help her? Um, and she's one of many. It really... It, it, it's, it's heartbreaking, it really is, and you want to be able to reach out and help every single orphan that comes into contact with you, because each one of them is so beautiful and they come with so many different amazing stories, such passion and such just that smile that they give to you. Don't each of them have equal right to education, food, shelter, for that one pound a day that we could give. There's far more work that needs to be done. And when you consider that each and every day 5,000 children become orphans, um, our work is not finished, our work is not done, there's so much more we've got to do.